Hi everybody, my name is Dave Parent and I've been teaching at San Jose State for uh, a little over 20 years. Um, I'm kind of stuck here in my bedroom um, because my wife works at home too and I, I can't disturb anybody. Um, here's some books that I could put in the background to try to impress you of how well read I am or casually place a dumbbell um, that I have to work my way up to yet to, to show you how physically fit I am. Um, I originally got into online, not really to be online, but it was part of the great MOOC disaster of 2013. Um, I started putting things online to try to teach with the flipped classroom method, but what ended up happening is I just got more organized and then after taking a quality matters course which uh, shows you how to to be organized for any kind of class not just online um, I was able to make great improvements in my in my canvas shell and probably the first thing you're gonna realize if you've never taken an online course before is how frustrating it can be to be a student taking an online course and where's the information where's the assignments things like that that I felt while taking the quality management course probably the number one thing I learned is to try to keep um, consistent and even put things in uh, information in multiple areas so that students could see uh, things more than one way. We're going to get into um, what you might call diversity but really what I would call um, trying to get everybody to succeed and there's a form there's a place online where you can see how well your courses do with the underrepresented minority gap and in general engineering does quite well I, I haven't seen I don't know everybody's uh, major what they teach but what I found is is that my my gap uh, used to be pretty big but as I made the, the as I learned how to teach this one particular course, um, I, I was able to get that that gap down to within the noise level and not sacrifice any um, any of the quality or what the students were learning. I know that this uh, past summer, a lot of faculty were concerned about uh, how to prevent cheating, and what I can tell you is that you do have to address it. But I feel that a lot of the tools, like Respondus Lockdown, ProctorU, Proctorio, if you read their um, their information, you know, their sales material, they're just trying to scare us. That students are bad. Students will do anything. It's easy to and but um, I tried to research it from the other way. It's like how to cheat using Respondus. Uh, lockdown browser and it seems like these tools are actually pretty easy to defeat but if you uh, talk to faculty that have been teaching online for a long time um, there's plenty of things that you can do to address it now it doesn't seem that this course addresses how to addresses that but we can talk about um, methods uh, to address that um, you know it's not part of the class we can do it during office hours. Uh, see the see the link, um, and then I think what I've been really successful at is automating a lot of those assignments that students need to kind of grind through, but you can't spend all your time grading, and that leads me to something called My Open Math, one of my favorite tools for online education, and it can do. Um, questions with imaginary numbers you can enter in functions it's um, the online quizzes are just such a, a broader richer um, thing that you can do in canvas um, probably the other thing that I'm bringing to the tables as far as electronics is concerned how can students do that remotely um, I have a few ideas and I'm currently uh, testing um, a device that, that can, for $150, has 
function generator oscilloscope and, and power supplies. Now I know we're not all electrical engineers, but it seems to me that almost everybody needs a circuit for something to measure whatever they happen to be doing, uh, regardless of the major. But um, again, that you know we'll we'll just follow the course. I feel that's just what I bring extra to the table. Um, anyway, I hope we uh, we can enjoy our time together. And if you need anything outside of office hours, just email. Because I'm usually, you know, working away just like you. And every once in a while I need a mental break. So if you need any help, just ask. All right, let's have some fun.